Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. This seems to be the only strat I'm good with these days. So let's play it. They move their king, I'll move my king. Um, I think I'll do this. Uh, let's also bring the silver out. So it can aim at this point. <laughs> okay, and then we'll try to defend my king a little bit more. Not allow them anything too aggressive. And then try to figure out... So yes, I built half me now. Half me now is a castle. Um, but what else can I build here? Do I have an attack? It seems I never do. But if I push and push again, you know, you try to exchange and pick this off, it's just not falling. Hmm. Now the point is that they get to push here. Hmm. Let's give my bishop somewhere to go, I guess. Okay, they say no to that. Um, I can also push toward their king this way. That gives up squares. It does solidify the king, but or the castle. But some squares are seated. Um... Oh, this is an idea, too. This is a risky idea. So I'd like to defend this if I have time to do so, and I don't want to cut the rook uh, from defending this here. So this gold can dance around the rook and also build this kind of shape here, but this side of the board is a bit difficult to defend. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Now, if I bring the rook over, they push this. I mean, regardless of what I do, this seems to be moving forward, right? Oh, what a mess. I want to attack something. Alright, so they get to attack my bishop. I get to chase their rook a little bit. I'm not totally sure about this. Nana okay. And this is where I started getting pretty uncertain. 
Um, Maybe I attack like this? I just don't know. I guess, no, let me try this first. They can move the rook this way, though. They don't have to take my pawn. Right. All right, so I guess I'll take the slants. They get to win in exchange. And I have to come up with another idea. Hmm. I don't see a clear shot here. I guess this is the fastest attack I have. If the knight moves up, I could drop a pawn, the token could take... Oh. That's sharp. Why this? I'm in time pressure, so I keep moving. Hmm. This looks difficult. What to do? Hmm. 
I mean, let's fall into the trap, I guess. Something. That doesn't do anything, does it? Or rather, it doesn't do anything constructive. Um, hmm. Well, I botched this. Um, all right. This is going to be challenging. I need some awesome tactics. Sorry about this horrible noise in the background. Let's see if I can do something about that. Hmm, that looks extremely menacing. Um, Nifun. I need to attack. I can't just defend here. They can block on 5-5, and it's going to suck. But I don't have a choice. We could also just block here. Yeah, no, I just chose not to believe that this is checkmate. Um, I'm probably wrong. I don't, again, have any choice. Just given how desperate my position is. Interesting. Oh, that doubles up on this silver. That's the point. So I have to defend like this. For a second, I was trying to figure out, can I, like, ensnare these and somehow make some kind of magic happen? Um, all right. Interesting. Let's try this. Hmm. Okay. Sanjubio. Nijubio. Oh, they have a nightmate, don't they? Hmm. 
All right, I I will resign this if they don't find the mate. All right, thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, so it, it's challenging that I can play for traps, but good luck. But I have difficulty playing with a consistent plan. Pawn 4, 5, rapid engagement, it says. Alright. Well, does it get any more rapid than what I'm doing here? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I shouldn't have done this. Because, well, no, I can do this now, actually. Which would be like tempo loss, uh, side pawn capture, or something like that. Um, not something any of us knows, but something to keep us all interested in the game. Um, here, let's stick this back on the board. So now I've completely lost a tempo. Uh, and we'll see how I hold up. Welcome. I'm playing with fire here. Yeah, they don't want to take this pawn. Maybe they should want to take it. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to force the opponent to come up with the original moves here. Uh, but the downside of my odd strategy is that I also don't know what I'm doing. They don't want to push any of these pawns, because then I could push my rook pawn. So they're trying to assert that they have some kind of advantage here, on account of my rook being blocked. Um, whereas I'm asserting that their rook is strangely placed. So... It's... a situation. It's a... Shogi's complex like this. Alright, so I can push this pawn now. Dare I? I think so. If I don't, what else am I doing? Um. Alright. So now my rook is not blocked anymore. Uh, potentially I'm walking into a bishop fork if they're wanting to drop their bishop on the board and potentially wanting my rook to exchange for it. Um, didn't expect this, so... Well, I... Sorry. This is what I looked at. After having pushed my pawn, though, I didn't think they'd actually do this. But when I did push the pawn, I thought this was going to happen. Um... All right, so my rook is free and clear. Um, has a nice path to attack on. Their rook is not in that same situation. I'm 
do <laughs> I do have a vulnerable diagonal here. Um All right, we set up an, a big fork. The opponent blocks the big fork. Um, I think I try to make use of this anyway, because what else am I doing in this position? They don't have an easy way to hit this bishop. Um, so now I go back to my old tricks here of trying to activate my rook. If they drop a pawn, I can capture here. Uh, which is walking into a fork, but the scold is hanging. So now, when I retreat, they could drop a bishop and hit this knight. Unless I go back one square, um, which looks reasonable to retreat one square rather than two. They might consider this bishop drop. Or rather, they might consider trying to win my lance here. <sighs> I'm just not good at this. <laughs> I have hindsight, not foresight. Alright, so... In the interest of not... I just... I mean, what do I do? I defend my knight. But now the lance goes, but they miss it again. Um, okay. So now I defend everything and expect some horrible tactic that I've missed somehow. Um, it's not there yet, so hooray. Let's defend a little bit better and give my king an escape hatch just in case this attack does anything. Oh. Okay, that's a situation. Um... Sure, why not? Now I'm losing a silver, aren't I? Now I'm losing a silver general. Okay. I don't have a counter shot, do I? Probably not. Hmm. That's disappointing. All right, let's try to use my rook. Now my gold general is hanging. I think I lose this game. There... Normally I'd consider fighting on, but there's nothing to fight for here. Like, I can attack over here, but that's about it. Go Gofun! Okay. 
Okay. I put the rook on this file, but then they just drop the lance, and there's nothing I can do. So we're going here instead, but it's a very, very difficult position. Mm -hmm. So what do you suppose our next proverb might be, Justice? Let's take a look. A vanguard pawn is difficult to maintain. I guess that seems true enough. Hmm. Is there anything I can attack? Alright, we can use the knight and the rook and puncture this file. It's an idea. Is it a good idea? No. Are there any good ideas? Also no. Do I take this? Um, probably not. It's kind of sad if I don't. But if I do, like, nothing good comes of it. If I don't, also nothing good comes of it. I saw this much. I have a castle and I have no attack. Maybe I should try to activate my rook somehow. Hmm. Something.
It's so difficult to activate the rook with the gold in the way. Um. Nifun Sanjubio. And moving this stuff around doesn't really give me a lot of room. Um. Hmm. Nifun. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ippun. Oh fuck, they can, yeah. There's a lot they can do. Um. Nijibio. Jubio.
Thanks for the game. Sorry for about the cheapos. You did earn the victory. Good luck. Hey, welcome. Why did I put my silver here? I don't know. Moving my silver this way has severely constrained my options. Hmm. Free pawn, dude. Why did I not take the free pawn? Let's take the free pawn. Yeah. How to defeat Odashina. Don't let it happen. Alright. Well. Thanks for the I was half joking, but yeah, the free pawn and initiative there was pretty nice. Um... So, no shame, nothing, nothing to be ashamed of there. We'll continue doing our best, we'll continue practicing. Maybe I can do better next time. Thanks for watching.